The National Crime Agency reports that 61% of hackers start under the age of 16. So what better than to harness that skill in a positive way by offering a cyber educational programme? That's exactly what Bayside School has been doing over the past five years. And the hard work and dedication of staff, eager students and online gaming volunteers alike have paid off. And the winner is... Bayside School for being at the forefront of cybersecurity education for over five years and its success in the Cyber Centurion competition. Congratulations! Well, as you can imagine, I'm extremely proud as head teacher of the Bayside. We knew we had been shortlisted for the award, and when it finally came through, I felt like the proudest man on earth at that precise moment. Um, being head teacher of a big school like this one can be stressful, and uh, you know. Uh, there are uh, challenging moments to say the least but uh, this makes it all worthwhile when these things uh, happen and the, and the work that goes behind the scenes uh, especially in this case Mr Harrison and his team who give up so much of their time in the evenings to, uh, to make this possible and to have this recognition especially having competed with uh, such a prestigious schools in the UK including private schools which tend to be better equipped and have smaller classes. But we've managed to, to, to hold back the strong opposition and I think this is a very well-deserved uh, award. Winning Cyber School of the Year comes not only on the back of its Cyber Centurion successes, but also because of the school's efforts to close the gender gap, work with autistic children, and also it takes into consideration the rollout of the first Gibraltar Cyber Challenge, Rock Defenders. Obviously I'm really, really proud of everything that, that we've done. You know, we've been doing this for the past five years now. There's been a lot of us involved, you know, there's been people from industry such as uh, Lewis Mora, uh, Rich, Richard Fadul who have, they work in the gaming industry, they've, they've been giving up their own time to come and develop the skills in the children, obviously the, that partnership has been fantastic, you know, we've, we've had female teachers in the school as well, with Louise and Caitlin coming in to, to help bridge the, the, the whole gender gap. There's been a massive amount of people giving up their time and effort, so to, to come to this point and say Bayside out of all the UK schools is now the, the cyber school of the year. Just it just shows how how our work, how valuable our work was, and and how much progress we've actually made. You know, this award is uh, it's a massive recognition you know, for the effort that uh, the team has done over the past five years. You know, I think that you know we spent quite a bit of time, you know, increasing security awareness at uh, in Gibraltar. So I think it is a, a great recognition for for that. The program also offers a unique opportunity to connect with industry professionals and potentially gain a foothold in the cyber security world. Look, there's all types of jobs in the tech sector which are going. So we need to, to give opportunities to all different skill sets, different different academic abilities of children and start looking at well, where in the tech industry, when the digital industry can, does do the jobs exist, how can we develop you to when you leave school you become em employable. So we're always working with, we're always talking, communicating, just, just exploring what can we do to make our kids ready for 21st century. We're setting them in the right path by doing this education, by you know, working on internships with them, uh, finding them a job afterwards, ensuring that they get the best possible education when it comes down to cyber security. So who knows, in the future, two, three years down the line, yeah, they might come back and you know, replace myself yeah, or anybody else working in cyber security in, in Gibraltar. We just uh, set up a new partnership uh, where we'll be offering a coding club as from, as from January and the end of that will have some paid internships to the ones who do best. So this is the types of work and the type of progression that we, we want to do. For more information, contact S. Harrison at BaysideSchoolGibraltar.gi.